That is ridiculously frustrating. That exact same sequence happened twice in a row. Alright, last attempt. Literally, the exact same sequence happened twice in a row. The game ate my A, pre a button press, so I couldn't get ISG and clip through him. Then, I get the ISG, but the game spits me out. Like, what the hell? Am I just getting a bad RNG seed or something? Like, what the fuck is going on? My gosh, to get a 446 by Deku Shield and have a 532 escape is just really disgraceful. If you get a 446 shield by, you should be getting 515s, 516s. If you do the West with no West escape. Four 
47. Let's go. Fuck you, you tried to eat my eighth button again. But I knew better, you fucking piece of shit game. Seven forty two is decent. Request that I play a song. Well, maybe at the end of the speed run, but I can't really play songs during my runs. Otherwise, I can't have them verified with copyrighted material. But at the end of the run, I'm more than happy to. speech. Oh, that can change really fast, Sonic. We're in the first couple of splits. But sub 940 bomb choose is always pretty decent.
fire's always the run killer for you. Fire topple used to be for me back when I wasn't very good at movement. Because not having Goron Tunic was always a problem for me. But now Fire Temple is pretty easy. Once you're better at movement and you're able to get through the rooms on the timer, it becomes pretty easy. What categories do you run, Sonic? final it just comes with a lot of you know that's the thing about it is most of these tricks are pretty rinse and repeat and most of these categories all do the same tricks with a little bit of a twist you know maybe a little bit of a different route or maybe you do one trick over another so once you've gotten really familiar with this game and ran a few categories it gets pretty easy to, you know, be able to do some of these tricks, like bottom of the well bomb choose, you know, it's not too bad once you get used to it, because every category has to get bomb choose from bottom of the well, usually. And then if you're like me and you're primarily a 100% runner, most shorter categories, like no I am wrong work for a piece of cake, because basically just a watered down hundo. Oh, you don't upload yours? Well, you should upload yours sometime, whenever you feel comfortable with doing it. There's always room for more people in the community. Trust him. Alright. Decent. Good side hops. Actually, it's, it's a combination final of, like, a lot of focus and a lot of muscle memory. Like, for me, I'm not like ZFG, who can literally just talk to chat all the time in all the spots of the run, basically, and still, you know, be okay. I pick my times where, you know, I look over at the, at the chat. Like, I see a lot of runners that lose a lot of time because they're trying to be very very active in the chat and very very active in their speed run and unfortunately sometimes they look over at chat a couple too many times they need to you know be able to just take a sneak peek and then you know answer one question and then get back so that's my secret is you know it's a combination of practice and muscle memory but also Knowing what parts of the run are good times for me to say, okay, I can come over and see, oh, cool, Sonic is talking about the castle area. Have I ever done a mean speedrun on OOT? I did one really bad all-cows run, like, probably 
eight months ago. I did like one dank percent run. I did like one go home and die percent run. But I don't have any recordings of this stuff. Like, obviously for me, Final My, there are a lot of runners that are more kind of like acting as live streamers, being more entertainers in the sense of communicating and talking. And they even admit that. They say, hey, you know, it'll be nice if I get a PB, but most of the time I'm on here to communicate with my chat. Whereas for me, I'm very more PB oriented. It'd be nice if every day I could get on and get a PB. So, for me, my purpose here is entertainment in the sense of good gameplay. And then, you know, if you actually want my opinion on something, whenever I have the chance, I'll open my mouth. Usually I have nothing good to say. died. Guys, I always die here. Yeah, but bomb chews early aren't even that bad, Sonic. Once you really... Once you've really figured out the ocarina dive... It's not bad. I'm glad to see that you enjoy the stuff, Final. I'm I'm doing my best to give the best content I can, man. The moral of the story is that, you know, this is all fun, doing speedruns. But, you know, it's even more fun having people here chilling. So, I'm glad you guys are here. Have a good time. That sucks. What sucks? By the way, I'll go ahead and, uh... Car accident, holy shit, man. I hope you're alright, dude. just read that I'm man those are really really sucks man like uh, I guess my question for you is like was it something really bad like did any of your bones get busted or anything like that or did it just kind of leave you in a state of shock or something because when I was 18, I uh, rear-ended it. I ran into somebody's rear end at 50 miles an hour. 
and I'm very, very lucky that nothing happened to me. Some random pedestrian was crossing the street, started running across the street, and the person in front of me had to slam their brakes, and I went crashing right into them. I'm very lucky that nothing happened to either of us. Oh shit, are you talking about, uh, isn't that that crazy highway, like the Autobahn or something, final? Like the left lane or something is unlimited speed? I'm too much of a pussy to try that. There's no way I would go for that. Yeah, dude, that's a fucking miracle that you lived through that. Holy shit. Like, dude, you... You definitely had somebody looking after you right there. Like, that's fucking insane, man. I'm glad you're here to live and tell the story to us. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, shameless... Some shameless posting right there. You can follow me on Twitter. If you want notifications of when I go live, I'm almost at a hundred followers on Twitter. So yeah, if you want to be cool and get me up to that hundo mark, think about it: a hundred percent runner having hundred followers on Twitter. It's destiny. Okay, okay, that's right. Yeah, we're stupid Americans, dude. Yeah, so you're talking kilometers, not miles. So a 5K is 3.2 miles. So times that by 40 and you get 200. So 3.2 times 40. 120 So you're going 
128 miles an hour. Or no, 136 miles an hour isn't no 128 miles an hour. See how this American just converted kilometers to miles? I'm a fucking genius, dude. I swear I'm a fucking genius. Uh, Mariscon final crashed his vehicle at 100 miles an hour, 128 miles an hour, and he lived. Decent. Not the best, but it'll work. Yeah, if, you, if your vehicle flipped, um... Got your back.
26 seconds off of my gold so far. That's a decent run. Now final some. Yeah, he was looking after you, my man. He was definitely looking after you. For some reason, that Counting Blue Cars song is coming in my head right now. Tell me all your thoughts on God. You guys remember that song, right? It's a great fucking song. The 90s classic, while well, I am a 90s fanboy, my favorite music era is the 90s. Huge fucking 90s fan. rock cover band here in town. Let me tell you, everybody in this town says, man, every other band is so stuck in the 70s, you guys are so refreshing. Like, yep. The 90s is hot right now. 90s is considered the new classic rock, essentially. And stuff like Skinner is becoming oldies. Are you serious? Oh, Sonic, I might have to time you out just because, not because of Rick Astley, but because you forgot half of the chorus. No, we're gonna run around and desert you. I'm gonna say goodbye and hurt you. Dude, I like that song. It's cool. We've known each other for so long. You're too shy to say. And you see, Final, this is one of those parts of the run where I was talking about. It's like, dude, going through DC normally, this is a part where I don't really have to focus as much. I can kind of talk to chat a little bit more. It's like I'm knocking down some, st some stairs. I'm hitting a switch. It's not a big deal. Thank you, sir. Still gets 5,000 viewers a night just playing random shit. So, gotta give the guy props. Man. 
but I never understood a lot of it really kind of pisses me off that a lot of OOT runners basically give Clint the cold shoulder like a lot of hundo runners give him a hard time and yet his time is really good way better than the guys that are talking shit on him and it's with an old round Please, please fall down. Please fall down. Please fall down, thanks. Did Toys R Us? No way, dude. That's crazy. But yeah, I mean, I got nothing. I got nothing against Clint. Like he has, he got the viewers good for him. I got no issues. Yeah, let's just say SM64 wasn't quite the speed game for Clint, and he kind of figured that out. I enjoyed watching him because there were so many good, there were so many good Glad Jonas clips of Clint Stevens playing SM64. It's like, how could you not enjoy watching him play SM64? It was great. I fucking love the Stone Temple Pilots, dude. We play three of their songs. We play Sex Type Thing, we play Plush, and we play Interstate Love Song. We used to play Vaseline, it just didn't get as much of a fan base going for it, so we dropped it for a different one. One time a thing occurred to me Folks really was for sale The kids tried to take it away Hey, you got a big post spawn. 
Hey. Dude, Dead and Bloated, that's a great song. But it's not one that the crowd would know as well as like Interstate Love Song and Plush. Like, I make money playing music that's popular within the genre that I like. Please, no random void this time. Thanks for catching me. Do I play any Weezer? Um, a couple times. We don't have any that are, like, really on our set list. We've played Say It Ain't So, and we've played Beverly Hills before on request, you know? Because they're easy songs to pull out. Alright, that's the big one to get. Would I laugh if someone rickrolled me? Um, I'd probably time them out. And then I'd laugh at them for getting timed out. Alright. We'll hold on to these bombs. Yeah, so talk some stuff, dude. Let's go. Hey. 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 
out of eight isn't enough. Alright, I'm losing 45 seconds here. Forty-five seconds to bomb our Wow! Three for eleven! That is such shit bomb luck, dude! That is such shit bomb luck. This run was perfectly executed, and I lost that much time to bomb RNG. Wow. Wow. How much time lost to bomb RNG? I couldn't get bombs from the Armos. To give you an example, Armos bomb drops are a 50% chance. Plus, I was under six bombs. Oh wait, no, I didn't have a bow, so I can't get flex drops. So 50% chance for a bomb drop, and we got three out of 11. Each 
one has a 50% chance, and we went 3 for 11. Can I get some doubles at least? Make up. Wow. Come on, Blue. Come on back. Bad RNG. Whoa. Bad RNG. Really shitty RNG. Really fucking shitty RNG. I'm losing a minute. Really shitty RNG. What? These hitboxes. Wow. Great RNG, guys. Great RNG. Alright. I'm losing about a minute here, so 418 is dead. Or 418, 118 is dead. Really doesn't reward you for playing good. ZFG is a fucking liar. Oh, Dampe rewards you for good runs. My ass. Shit all over my face. I lost a minute and a half to bomb and twin rova RNG. Literally all my time loss in this run is RNG. I played like a fucking demigod. Boats, like, my bottom of the well was perfect, my Zelda was perfect, my boat skip was perfect, my minuet skip, uh, split was perfect, my, yeah, but yeah, my, uh, Spirit Hover was perfect, and then the game just fucking shit all over my face. 
That's why I argue that I have the worst RNG out of all the OOT speedrunners. No other runner has to deal with this bullshit that I have to go through. Uh, can we just, you know, we have ESS adapters. Can we just get bomb drop adapters already? Just cut out RNG. Let's get a bomb drop adapter. Let's get a damp a heart piece adapter. Let's just let's just get adapters to fix our problems. Stalfos with half a heart. I still need to go for the fast Stalfos kill. And plus, it's safer to go to kill the first Stalfos before getting the heart. Anyways, because if you try and go for the pot before trying to kill the Stalfos, you'll literally jump slash right in your face before you can get to the pot. So, we're just gonna go ahead and do our normal strat here. See that double hit I got? It killed the one and then damaged the other. That was so cool. Forgetting I don't have iron boots and no iron wrong work, so I only have to click once. Shit. 
Good. Really fucking good. I'm on top of the chest, aren't I? Holy crap, and that's still a lot of gold. Wow, dude, this would be a fucking god run! This would be a god run! If I didn't get screwed by RNG. Pretty sure this would have been a sub one bow. Maybe. Holy crap! OT is a great game to start speedrunning because there's so much information on the market. Thanks to the Armos. Crimson. Yeah, dude, I lost. I lost 45 seconds to 3 for 11 bomb drops from Armos. So it took me three farms from them. When they're all at a 50% bomb drop rate. And then I lost 40 seconds to Twin Rova going in bad spots where I couldn't hit them. So, literally, I've lost a minute and a half to RNG. This run would be absolutely godlike if that didn't happen. It'd be mid-117 pace. It would be like, it would literally be a top 10 run. I mean, I just, I just really don't understand why my RNG is so fucking shit. What do I have to do? Well, let's not let's not boast about it just yet. Because I still have to get through the rest of the game. Like I just I just needed three bomb drops. You have to have three. Like, if I would have went with eleven, I could have skipped one drop and YOLO'd with eleven, but that would have literally meant that I would have either had to do the really... I would have had to have done Mega Side Hop into, uh... Blah, 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 into the Trial Skip, the Mega Side Hop strat, and I would have had to have done a One Bomb Super Slide into Ganon Cutscene to keep my Master Sword. So it's like, I would have had to literally fucking YOLO and I probably would have lost the run if I did that. So I was literally bomb perfect the rest of the run.
one of our most pushed in trials. Yeah, lost 45 seconds doing our most push. <laughs> Sorry, Sitox, but this isn't this isn't your low optimization route. Thank you very much. I live in 2018. done our most push since like 2011. Surprisingly, no, it's not, Sid Talks. We did the time warp again. Can world record with it, this is true. Do it, Sitox, and then I'll switch. As soon as you world record with our most push, I'll start doing it as my strat. Promise. Come on. Come on. Really, really, sit talks. understand why there's like something glitchy about these stairs it just kills my Hess for no reason I literally don't drop my Hess at all I don't move my finger there's just something really fucking glitchy about those stairs well what makes it possible Mariscon is that new boat skip saves 45 seconds 
So, technically speaking right now, technically speaking, right this second, if you had a perfect god run with the new boat skip, and then you decided to do the Armos push, the Armos push would cancel out any of the time saved from the new boat skip, and you can technically world record still. I really want to know why those glitchy stairs always kill my Hess, though. I don't understand why my Hess dies for no fucking reason. Like, you'll even see on the input display, during the Hess, my joystick doesn't move. It's in ESS position. You're gonna time our most push? Go for it, dude. Ganon fight. Hi, Molly. Got the other plug in here right now. Hey, hey, can you not go over there right this second? I'll come, I'll see you in about five minutes, okay? Okay? I'll see you in about five minutes. Can, can you can you get away from all the power stuff, yeah, please? Please, thank you. I know you wanna you wanna hang out. I know. I'd rather you not get near that stuff right this second. Please, 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 please. Thank you. <sighs> Playing an extra save. The the super slide literally saves about a half a second. So I'm just gonna play it safe this run. And I'm going to keep my bombs. kept those two extra bombs because I literally had exactly enough to do two super slides. And if you fail this super slide and don't keep your master sword, 
It's super rip, because then you have to shoot Ganon's tail with light arrows, which takes fucking forever. from this category. Please, Ganon. Please, Ganon. right off the start. Controlled again. again. Trolled again! Trolled again! Jesus Christ, dude! that fight, dude! I just don't understand why it never works for me. Hate that fight. It never fucking works for me. Okay, that was actually a miss. So, uh... That's actually like a one, one, one nineteen twenty-eight. I want to retime it. Puts us above Danny B at 18. Woo! I got 
that sub 120. Sub 120 is pretty cool. my goal for this category well I just run it as a side thing when I have less time I you know or if a hundo run fails so I would be very happy with a lower 118 mid 118 but this run proved to me that I can 117 with this route I can easily 117 Where'd I get my degree? Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, Arizona.